Welcome to the Hit New Game Show. Tis the season where two teams of players compete in nonsensical trivia questions unrelated to anything of importance in hopes to win prizes, medals, trophies, and merchandise of yours truly while raising money for local effort of families in the process. I'm your host, Mr. Marzok, and here is... Tis the season. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask questions related to absolutely nothing and are frankly pointless. However, the team that answers those questions correctly first will win the round with 300 points. However, if you answer incorrectly, you will lose 300 points and look like a cotton-headed ninny-muggin. So answer carefully. Additionally, these questions have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas or any other holiday for that matter. And lastly, teams must wait until I say the entire question before they can answer. Are we ready to play Tis the Season? Well, son of a nutcracker, let's get started. All right, and welcome to the next match of round two. So why don't we get to reintroduce ourselves to the teams that we have today, we have over here... Mr. Martin. Marissa. Ariana. Gabby. All right, and over here we have... Senor Sorello and the Spirited Spaniard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get this show on the road. Here we go. The 12 drummers drumming question is, when you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be true. So... In which of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's works did Sherlock Holmes say, elementary, my dear Watson? Was it The Crooked Man? Was it A Case of Identity? The Adventures of the Dancing Men? Or None of the Above? You have 10. <laughs> All right, that is time. The correct answer is none of the above. He actually has never said it. He only said elementary. That's all that he has said. Eleven pipers piping. Here we go. Quote me on this. What does the evil queen say to her mirror in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves? Does she say, magic mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Mirror mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Mysterious mirror on the wall, who's the fairest one of all? Or, I'm starting with the man in the mirror, I'm asking him to change his ways. Mirror on the wall. Heard, no, magic mirror on the wall, who's the wall? Alright, I heard. Which one are we going with? Mine. Which one? Magic. Magic is correct. Yes, the yes, yes. Yes. That is magic mirror. Mirror mirror is from the Brothers Grimm. Ten Lords are leaping. Here we go. All right, some say he's still alive. Some say he's Santa Claus. Some say his ghost haunts fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches all over the world. However, what was Elvis Presley's hair color regardless of whether or not he left the building for good? Was it black, brown, white, or blonde? Black, black is incorrect for minus 300. You got that? Brown. Brown is also wow, incorrect. <laughs> it was actually blonde, and he died in really? every three wow. weeks. Both teams minus 300. All right, nine ladies dancing. Here we go. The 90s may not be known for too many good things. Nonetheless, they had some amazing TV sitcoms like Divorce Court and Judge Judy and Friends. Now, on the TV show Friends, how many times did Ross Geller get divorced? Was it one, two, three, or four? I heard him chime in first. Three. Three is correct for 300 points. He did get divorced three times. Eight maids of milk, and here we go. To be a queen with a daughter means that your child is set up to be a princess. What is the name of the Queen Bee's oldest daughter who's also in line for the Jay-Z throne? Is it Poison Ivy, Blue Ivy, Ivy, or Sheila? Blue Ivy? Blue Ivy is correct for the yeah. 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 All right. Seven swans are swimming. Here we go. They say the younger you are when you learn a new language, the easier time you will have learning it. However, it's not just people that can learn a new language. Which child's toy learned to speak English over time? Was it a Cabbage Patch Kid? Was it a Teddy Ruxpin? A Furby or a Pound Puppy? Teddy Ruxpin. 
Teddy Ruxpin and is in play oh. for minus 300. You have 10. Furby is correct. Yeah. 300 yeah. points. All right, six. Geese a leg. Here we go. Quote me on this. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Is a quote from what movie? Legally Blonde, The Princess Diaries, Cruel Intentions, or Mean Girls? <laughs>
That is incorrect for minus 300. That is time. It was influenced people. How the Grinch. Over there for 300. How the West. One. That was correct over there for 300 points. How Stella got her? I heard it over there first for 300 points. Let's see what we have. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so in order to answer this correctly, we have our first tie. It's very simple. In my wallet right now, I have... Money? That is correct. <laughs> All right. And in that, I would like whoever can guess the closest amount of money to what is in my wallet will win the day. So how much money? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know who's like, when it's Alright, so we have five, four, three, two, one. Alright, so here's what I would like um, so that we can't. Can you, um, Mr. Martin, please step outside and tell our one person what you're going with so we know that you can't change your number and then we'll ask them on the spot. Just tell her your number quick so we know what it is. All right, so we have their number. We will defer to you first to stream your number out loud. Sure. You have what? What number are we going with? $85. They're going with $85. And you guys are going with? $25. $25. Is the correct answer is I have absolutely no money <laughs> in my wallet right now, which puts you guys... <laughs> Party. 